it has been kind of a bear to get this thing set up. So actually let's uh let's load this up here. So let's talk a little bit about how you can play this game in 2016 legally. <laughs> um, so Rod of Blood comes out for the Wii Virtual Console, and um, it is the Turbo Graphics 16 version, which is the Japanese version of the game. Rod of Blood in the U.S. has never been what actually Rod of Blood is, and um, so I've never really gotten to play through this game. I got it for Wii Virtual Console a while back, a couple years ago, a couple years before the Wii came out, and wrote about it on the site when we started the site, just to have a Castlevania article on the site, and uh, but never saw it through. Recently, uh, I was listening to a podcast just talking about the history of Symphony Night and Dracula X slash Rondo of Blood, and got the itch to play it again, so my plan is to actually record a full playthrough of it and see how I do, and um, and then lean into other Castlevania games from there. But um, in trying to figure out how to play this game on my Wii U, I learned that, uh, one, because I didn't transfer over any of my Wii stuff, I've lost all of my Wii Virtual Console purchases, which were quite a bit. So Nintendo better fix that for the NX. Uh, I've bought a lot of stuff on the Wii U, so don't make me uh, have that happen again. So then I load up the emulator and go through the Wii shop, find the game, buy the game, get it all ready to go, and then I'm trying to figure out how I want to play it. Well, the Wii U gamepad doesn't work. The Wii U controller doesn't work. You have to use a Wiimote and then connect a Wii controller to that Wiimote if you want to use a controller, and I want to use a controller. So here we are. Let's load this up. Now, my history is going to be a little off because, like I said... I don't know. There aren't very many, uh, there aren't very many, I don't know. I feel like U.S. gamers that can s accurately sort through Dracula X and Rondo of Blood because of the versions that we actually got versus the traditional one what that Symphony of the Night was based off of. For the full version of it. Lebten die this is it. Glücklich und zufrieden. And then when I start playing this for the very first time, this whole, like, I'm assuming that's German. I apologize if it's not, but, like, German voiceover with Japanese subtitles. Maybe a question whether or not this was the right version again, but the after listening to that um, Retronauts the podcast, I'm pretty confident that this is, this is it. This is the true prequel to Symphony of the Night. Vom sie einen Pakt and that's why I'm playing it. Teufel. We've had a lot of Symphony of the Night conversations, so I want to see how that all came together finally. Zu später Stunde kamen sie zusammen, um gemeinsam die Mächte der Finsternis mit ihrem sündigen Blut zu rufen. Sie zu I do know that von ihrer sterblichen Existenz there are a lot of like kidnapped women in this game that you save for various reasons for various abilities. <laughs> This is the transition game between old school Castlevania gameplay and what the series became after Symphony of the Night. Und so begab es sich, dass nach 100 Jahren das Böse wieder Fleisch geworden war. Als unsterbliches Geschöpf der Nacht kam es die Gestalt des Wolfs, der Fledermaus oder des Nebels annehmen. Es labt sich am Blut der Menschen. Dracula, der Fürst der Finsternis, Herr des Teufelsschlosses, ist auferstanden. Him and his blurry castle. Dracula X, Rondo of Blood. I'm guessing. Assuming. Hit the run button, which is the plus button, which is the start button. Okay, let's get rolling. I have to be consistent. Okay, I've got it selected. Start. 
Oh, you gotta go back to the menu and then you've created the game. Got it. Sound tests. I miss sound tests. Got a percentage meter. So also, it must be the transition of going straight up anime. Yeah, this is the Turbo Graphic 16 version. Best cutscenes to this point for Castlevania. And best music to that point. Richter looking very Ryu. but also a lot more masculine than later Castlevania heroes are much more androgynous. Ooh, he's really excited about those Holy Cross. So that all happened while he was on the stagecoach. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm excited. Yeah. 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 Yes. 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 Ooh. Very Sonic the Hedgehog title. What's up, Death? Man, I can't actually do anything. Now we're fighting. What do we got? I'm gonna... oh, I took him down. Got some wind we're working against. Right. Oh, the German works, man. Rather that than bad English. Oh! Can I actually hit that? And is this the, I doubt this is a boss battle you can win. You can't jump off the horses. I'm just trying to hit him. What are you going to do? Oh, that's not German. That's Japanese. So can you actually hit him? Did I just fail completely? <laughs> he didn't kill me. I was expecting that fight to go on until he completely leveled me. So this... I did play a good amount of Dracula X on the Super Nintendo, which is basically a remixed and dumbed down version of this game. It cuts out a lot of the cutscenes in the, the story and the I think the various paths. But I was actually surprised at how in between that's a very Simon's Simon's Quest town now that I'm looking at it. How in between the graphics are between the 8-bit Castlevania games and, and like Super Castlevania. This has got more colors than the 8-bit because Turbo Graphics 16 has more power than that, but not near as much power as the Super Nintendo. Yet, it can do better sound because of other reasons. I'm not, I can't remember. I don't think Turbo Graphics, it wasn't a disc system, but I'm doing really well at dodging shit. Look at the continuity, though. Like, with the is that the Simon's Quest towns? I think we're going to get to see a lot of classic, well, what would become classic Castlevania characters, too. Or enemy types. Yeah. Turkey. Walter. Oh, shit. I didn't actually think that was going to be there. Already find secrets. I don't think that's how that you're supposed to crack that, but Whoa, what is Okay, yeah. Oh don't I keep Oh he's gonna poison me. <laughs> I scream. It's a Castlevania equivalent of a Wilhelm. What's with the chair? What the hell? I'm going to do a lot of experimenting, and we're going to start by falling down this pit. Because that, otherwise that room is pointless. Now we find another way out. But that's not where we're going. I, wow, I did not expect all of the Simon's Quest tie-ins. I don't, I've never been here. But like I said, the one time I briefly played this, I did not go this way. Yeah! What's in this statue? Nothing? 
What's the point of any of this? Damn it! I killed a cool thing in a hidden area. There's no time. It's like the the music's almost given me uh, more of a sense of urgency. And now it looped. It looks like there's something... I don't know. What's the... That room... The room isn't pointless. It can't be. What do we got here? Is this the way we're supposed to go? This feels like the end of... Science Quest. What the hell? I'm already... Exploring a lot more than I expected. Hold on. There is no... This is pre... Oh, apparently there's my special move. I was gonna say, this is pre-actual Metroidvania map, so... Ow! Just blindly picked that up. I didn't... I wanted the axe more than holy water. Holy cross. <laughs> Already got our first dog interaction. Oh, we got something coming after me. Oh, shit. Did not expect a boss fight this early. That wasn't a... Oh... A bat. I really missing my axe right about now. Dang it! There we go. That's all I was. Nice. First death. All right, let's go. Take care of these losers. All right. At least we kind of know that I uh, have what I need to actually beat the boss, but I really want the axe again. Oh, you can't jump on this. Okay. I don't see what's in that vase. I guess the cross is technically more useful than the holy water in this fight, but there's that's key. Okay, let's actually pay attention to the fight now. It's weird readjusting to, to D-pad controls, like I and the fact that there's only two buttons to hit because this controller actually has eight buttons, but you really only need two. It totally looks like a tentacle, not a spiral dragon. All right. Let's, uh, get some more movement here. No weak point on them. Oh! Way to waste that. Way to waste 15 of those. Shit. Okay, okay. We're getting this... Doing the patterns, anyway. No, you don't want to do that. Ah, oh. damn it! Okay. Damn it! Jump over it. I don't have any health potions. That's for sure. Learn the patterns. Because I don't think this is the first boss fight you're supposed to start out with, but that's what we're doing. Mean greeting for this game. Oh, that cash will the cash will be huge. That's a very Pac-Man noises. Never noticed that. All right, let's show, let's show some improvement here. Dash, but 
Well, there's no, definitely no double dash. Okay, okay, okay. Nope, get out of the way. There you go, jumping over the tail. Just learning what I can and can't dodge. And that was a bad move. Ah, crap. And I, I hit twice. Ah, shit. I'm trying to listen to the sounds. Damn it. Oh, there is time to dodge that. I'll jump into the damn dragon. Alright. Using sound cues. You could have figured it out. Watch the spikes up top. <laughs> All right, buddy. Come on. He's going to... Get another one of those. Get away. Dang it. I don't know, it's so resistant to. There's the loopy noise. What's the. No, that one. He doesn't make a noise when he is ready for that. Got it. Damn it! Get under him. Shit. Alright, we can definitely hit him there. Oh! Apparently that's the thing. Be continuing. <laughs> All right, a little, little bit of pressure. Oh, good. And you missed out on the axe. <laughs> We're full of like wondery, wonder and discovery. Wondery? Point of phrase. I figured I could just infinitely repeat that without coming all the way back. But so I mean, where are your lives? Like rest three. Got it. Didn't notice that loss. So I wonder what the continues actually do if you've actually done something. Starting off a little stronger, though. Oh! You didn't slide tackle me last time. Let's go the proper way. Let's... Mixed up. We know that dragon's down there when I need him. Oh, but we're gonna fight some bats, and I'm not gonna have my axe. Golem. What's the golem doing? Why is he shooting such a wussy fireball? Can I take this guy down? Yep. What do you got? Oh, okay. 
næste uge at se. Yeah. Damn, those aren't doing shit. But he wasn't as strong as it looked. It's just to raise a flag there? The checkpoint? Or is that a probe? Is he putting something in his... Thing? Oh, shit. That was quick. Is he putting something in his mouth to sp spit out? <laughs> Abrupt transition. Or no transition. Are all the bosses going to creep up on me like that? I'll take the axe. Oh, let's start Castlevania 1. Ridley is here. Holy crap. This is very Super Metroid Ridley fight. But Samus needs a throwing axe. Oh. Oh, get off me. I didn't expect that. Ah. Oh, shit. I was going to bet against me. I think it's a slightly easier boss to start with than that dragon. Oh, the spiral dragon. They're both dragons. 